Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Brad Keselowski's Fitzgerald Glider Kits Ford for 2017. Let's take a look at the box here. You've got your typical generic Brad Keselowski box for 2017. He's still in like a sports jacket or blazer or something for some reason. Brad Keselowski number two, Team Penske, all the regular stuff. Got to render the car right there, standard finish. They made 709 of these things, standard finish, number two, Team Penske. Everything you would expect to see by now, so not worth going over it too much. Here is the car itself in all of its bright green glory. I mean, how often do you see a bright green, almost lime green type car? That's not very often at all. Brad Kozlowski raced this paint scheme twice this year. First at the Spring Talladega race, and then the second time was at the Fall Richmond race. Which was a cool race for Team Penske, you had this car for Brad, and you had the American Red Cross car for Logano, which Lionel didn't offer because of some licensing or something, which they've offered Red Cross cars in the past, so whatever. Probably have to get a custom made of that one, because that was just a cool car. But nevertheless, they did make this one, Brad Kozlowski's Fitzgerald car. If you remember, Fitzgerald started last year in the Xfinity series, and this year came up to Cup and Trucks, sponsored one of Brad's trucks, and then of course sponsored Brad himself in the Cup series. Also, this is exactly what I wanted from the Auto Trader cars, <laughs> like a reverse, because now once I, I have the 124 of this one, so now having these two together makes for a really cool set to have them be like the same paint scheme but reverse colors. That would have been cool in the Auto Trader cars, have Logano be orange with blue scallops, have Kozlowski be blue with orange scallops. Thought it would look cool, but whatever. The truck paint scheme is just the typical Kozlowski truck paint scheme, but with black with a green stripe around the bottom. I'll be getting the die cast of that too, because having all three of the series will look cool together. But I feel like pointing out that they should have done this. He actually raced these both at the same time at Richmond in the fall. It's the final race. He ran this in the Xfinity race and won, and then ran this in Cup and finished, I want to say, like 10th. I don't know. But anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. Be quite honest, I didn't actually think this car would get made. <laughs> I didn't think that they would even pay attention to this one. They actually didn't offer the Xfinity car this year. They offered the Cup car, the truck, but not the Xfinity car. This isn't also is not level. So this seems to happen a lot recently where the suspension is just weird so the cars are not level on the ground. It's really not noticeable like in a display case or probably for the first part of this video you couldn't even tell until I pointed that out. But it is there. You really can't complain about it too much. I think I've only sent a car back once for it because I had a car that was like really bad. Like it was like teetering like almost completely sideways. Like you could look at a display case and be like why is that thing so off the ground? <laughs> so that was a little too excessive but stuff like this happens all the time so there's really you can't really do much about it. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Fitzgerald glider kits with just incredible quality control from Lionel. I mean, wow, that is just perfect attention to detail right there. Just, just flawless execution. Anyways, Shell Pennzoil, you got Ford Fusion number two. Down the side, you have Fitzgerald. You got Miller Lite, Alliance Truck Parts, and Snap-on Tools. You got Discount Tire and SKF up there. Got Auto Trader on the C-Post. And on the B post, you have Ford, Fitzgerald, DXC, PPG, Mazak, and Safety Clean. Got the two winner stickers from Martinsville and Atlanta. This, of course, does have all the updated contingencies. Monster Energy Cup Series, the updated NASCAR logo, has Monster on the windshield banner, unlike Hendrick. On the back, we have Fitzgerald Glider Kits, number two and Ford. And I'll get a little bit of a chip back there. Got Worth on the deck lid, nothing on the roof. This is number 434. There you, of course, have Kislowski's name on the rear window. Got the same stuff down the other side, as usual. Let's take a look under the hood, which is does not want to open at all. Maybe that's half the reason why the D's messed up, but it says Powered by Ford and Fitzgerald Glider Kits. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Take a look under the deck lid. You got your typical fuel cell and such back there, which you won't be able to see on ARCs next year, but I really don't care about seeing that typical fuel cell back there. The roof flaps, of course, do open. And there is the underside of the car, if you want to see that. Also, I noticed this later on my Kurt Busch win that I never pointed out. They actually did finally update the window net. Some people are probably saying, what, it looks exactly the same. Well, it's really not. I don't really have another car to just, do I even know? I don't really have anything next to me. But before it was like half the size of this and kind of slanted out, like down. They made it much longer, kind of square, fixed the pattern, made it much more accurate. Fills out much more of the window. It should fill out even a little bit more than that, but that is a very nice step in the right direction. So it was on the Kurt Busch Daytona 500. It's on this one. I don't think it was on the 
Kozlowski Atlanta win. I don't think it was on the Dale Jr. throwback. I don't know. But looks like this is finally running out. So let's see. We got Monster. We got the updated rims. We've got the low downforce spoiler. Now we have the window net. But do we have the digital dash? Nope. Maybe they're just waiting for those new molds next year to update that. I don't know. So we got all the other little details, including the decal grill on the forge. But everything else we got, but we still haven't gotten the digital dash, which that's probably the most minor of the changes. So whatever. I feel like pointing this out just because a lot of people don't seem to realize it. Where's a scale-up car? Here's Kozlowski's Auto Trader car. <laughs> is the Fitzgerald car is actually a slightly different variation of the scale-up car, which a lot of people don't even realize. You see, normally there's an extra, there's one more scale right around the fender, right there. And the design kind of curves down. I mean, it's supposed to curve down more, a little bit more straight than this, the die cast do, but I pointed that out in the past, that Lionel gets that wrong. But this one just is a full solid block around the front, and it skips one of the scallops. So that's different. It was the same in the Xfinity cars, you can see right here. A lot of people kind of missed that, so I feel like pointing out, because there's been a few different scallop variations over the years, like you had the you know, a uh, Hertz car where the bottom part of this was yellow, the scallops kind of ended right there and then it was had like a yellow front bumper. You had that sort of different type of scallops car that Logano ran with the Duralast GT colors earlier this year, but oh well. Like I said, some people hate the scallops. I think it's a perfectly fine paint scheme. Do they overuse it a little bit too much? Maybe, but this has been a lot of cool colors. This is an also a very nice color combination. Both these Fitzgerald cars are. I think I said in one of my past videos a couple other colors that I wanted to see, so maybe we'll get that, but would I want Logano to get a new Shell Pennzoil car sooner or later? Yes. I got no problem with the scallop car, but do I want something different in my display case for a change? Yes, I do. But whatever. If you want this card as a brand new release, so you can get it now, wouldn't be surprised if this one disappears a little bit. A lot of people are seem to be happy about this lime green car, and you know, it's just one of those cars that really captivates people to it. So be wary of that. But I think that changed hours to say. This has been a review of Brad Keselowski's Fitzgerald Glider Kits Ford. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.